Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and this, well, it's the beginning of the end for Letitia James's case against Donald Trump. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So, Letitia James, she overplayed her hand, like all these Democrats in all these cases. Hand absolutely overplayed. Leo Terrell, an expert in these things, he was speaking to Harris Faulkner on Fox News when he discussed exactly what was the beginning of the end for Letitia James's case. Now, he pinpointed the appeals court decision to lower Trump's bond to $175 million. A lot of people believe, and Leo is one of them, that this is the start of the unraveling of her case and that his fine, if anything, will be drastically lowered from the 450 some odd million dollars that it started at between her and Judge and Gorin in what was, I think, to even the casual observer, an absolutely political trial and for a lot of people, a witch hunt with a victimless crime. Now, I want you to hear what Leo says and let me know if you agree with him in the comments when you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. In focus, Leo Terrell, attorney and Fox News contributor. This might be the thing that unites everybody, including independents. No one likes for the law's hand to be unfair. The law, we know the hand of the law is long enough. But if it's applied with unfairness, that's tough. Leo. You're, you're absolutely right, Harris. You know, what makes this country great is our rule of law. It is our system of justice, and we follow the rule of law. It's not being applied to President Trump. And, Harris, I, I, I apologize for keep saying this. These decisions are political in nature. These cases are political against Trump. It doesn't make sense. And I think when you saw that reduction in the bond requirement, that was a message from the appellate court that this was excessive. And I think it's the beginning mm. of the end for this particular case. You know, it's interesting. It also gave some political cover to Democrats because if Letitia James and all of her thirst to, quote unquote, get Trump had started snatching up his assets, I, I don't know if Democrats had gamed that out up until maybe it might have happened. And that is that this plays in Trump's favor politically. So if it is, as you say, as much a political game, they are not winning right now the way that they are playing it, and that plays to his hand. I want to continue the, to monitor the massive search coming up next. But, Leo, before we move on, what needs to happen next? I mean, you've got Trump calling this lead prosecutor for the eight, April 15th trial uh, a Biden thug. What, what needs to happen? I'll tell you right now, in my opinion, what's best for the legal system for America is to stop these political trials. Let the election process work its way out. I don't think Trump should be forced to go to trial in April. I think you'll see that trial delayed because anticipate, Harris, a lot of pre-trial motions, uh, the okay. immunity issue, expect some appeals. So I hopefully uh, the Democrats will get the message, stop the political trials, let the voters decide who should become our next president. Mm -hmm.